With 26 hours before the launch of GTA 5, the hustle and bustle, the craziness, the standing out in the cold, the waiting for it is about to happen. I've got some additional news for you guys if you want to hear it. With this much commotion, Microsoft has started banning consoles. Anybody who obtains the game early and plays on the Xbox and is detected, they will automatically be console banned. As I found this kind of crazy when I was reading it because I started looking for the PlayStation, the PlayStation version of what their stipulation was and what their consequences were and I couldn't find any and then I started looking into it more and I saw a, saw a few articles starting to appear over the last 24 hours and they're more towards the factor of PlayStation and Sony even isn't taking any action towards them individuals how I personally see it Though Microsoft is taking these actions, and which of course is great and beneficial for everybody else, but the reason Sony hasn't possibly taken that step is because people accidentally, through human error, occasionally obtain copies earlier than what they're intended. Such as if we go back to the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 launch, People started obtaining the game two weeks before the actual launch. They obtained the game two weeks. That's because certain companies online, as well as certain websites, were claiming that they would get their copies as soon as possible. So whenever they got the shipment, they sent it out straight away, so people obtained it early. So I believe Sony's taking a step to reassure that nobody is innocently sort of punished by this. So I think that's Sony's perspective on that. Microsoft has taken a few steps and has ensured that anybody playing the GTA 5 earlier than what is intended, they will be console banned. And it's happened to a few people, not just necessarily one person. I think it's pretty crazy. I know a lot of people are finding it a, li a little bit like obscene even. It's kind of crazy in a sense. Why would they do that? But from both perspectives, it's understandable different reasons for different companies so Sony hasn't taken any action Microsoft hasn't taken any action we've got 26 hours and counting until the launch of GTA 5 everybody's pumped up hopefully the people who get console bans find a way to play this game with us in the next 24 hours um, I'm sorry for you guys to be honest I feel sorry for the people who actually got banned playing the game everybody's in love with the game the fascination but 26 and counting i'm gonna just keep updating if you guys want to check out my youtube channel a little bit more feel free to i'm gonna put in content up continuously hopefully have my live stream up as soon as i get the game so if you guys are subscribing for gta salute to you let's take over the world let's take over san andreas man all right so that's pretty much the video before jading off the subject and bringing this video into a 20 minute video i'm gonna leave it at this Peace out, guys. Yeah.